Today, we are going to compare two popular cameras, the Canon M3 and Fujifilm XM1. We are going to take a look at their features, who they are for, how they perform in various use cases, user experiences, and which one is the right one for you. Links to both of the cameras will be listed in the description below. Let's get started. The Canon M3 and the Fujifilm X-M1 are two digital cameras that were officially introduced respectively in the 6th of February 2015 and the 17th of September 2013. Let's take a look at how their specs compare to each other. We tested both cameras to assess their performance in different scenarios. Let's take a closer look at our ratings for each of them. Here are our ratings for the Canon M3. For portrait photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it an 8 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it an 8 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it an 8 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 6 out of 10 rating. Here are our ratings for the Fujifilm X-M1. For portrait photography, we will give it a 6 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 5 out of 10 rating. Next, we will take a look at some sample photos from the Canon M3 and the Fujifilm X-M1. Keep in mind that these photos have editing done to them, so the result from your camera might be different. Let's start with the sample photos. Here are some sample photos from the Canon M3. And here are some sample photos from the Fujifilm X-M1. Next, let's take a look at what other users of these cameras have to say about them. Here's what people have to say about the Canon M3. I have been using the Canon M3 for over 1.5 years, and I really like it a lot. It's much easier to carry around than a DSLR, and the image quality is excellent. The battery life was a concern at first, but with a spare battery and a few adjustments, it's not as big of a problem. The autofocus is quite good and overall, this camera has lived up to my expectations. I recently purchased a used camera from the Peacock store, and I'm really happy with it. It came with all the necessary accessories and saved me a lot of money. I chose this camera because of the hot shoe and the ability to use CHDK. Although it has some limitations compared to newer models, I love the size, options, and controls. The response time is a bit slow, but overall I am satisfied with my purchase. Here's what people have to say about the Fujifilm X-M1. I was promised an entry-level 10 trans camera, but what I got was so much more. The images are great and the tiny size is a nice surprise. I got the Rokinon 12mm lens with it and using it has been a joy. The only downsides are the weak focus peaking and limited Wi-Fi function. Overall, I paid $289 for this camera and I regret nothing. I bought this camera secondhand as an alternative body and I'm happy with it. The 16 megapixel sensor is a bit outdated but the camera is compact and takes great photos. Just what I was looking for. To conclude, here are our overall ratings for both of these cameras. Canon M3, we will give it an overall rating of 8 out of 10. Fujifilm X-M1, we will give it an overall rating of 7 out of 10.